What's up traders? This is V Trades, and today I will be doing a technical analysis breakdown for Alibaba Group Holdings with the ticker symbol BABA. I will first be going over what I see on the daily chart and finish the video off with the weekly chart. So let's go over what the price has done and what it's most likely going to do in the future. So it's stuck inside this range pattern. You can see there is a triple top at the $77 level and there's support right around that low $70 level. So price is just trading sideways, EMA is flat, which signifies the sideways trading. So basically, since we hit the top of the range, price is working its way to the bottom, uh, and that's right around the $70.48 level. So we'll see if that will uh, hold or not. If it doesn't, we're going to fall back down to the 67, possibly even lower. Uh, so either way, this is not uh, the a bullish looking chart. Uh, there was this bigger range pattern right over here. So you can see the support was previously at the $79, $80 level, and then price broke below it, and then the resistance was at the 120. So let's go and change the colors to differentiate the two ranges. So we have a bigger range and then a smaller range. So the market is fractal-ish. Uh, if you go even on a five minute, you'll see another range. So you know you have ranges and trends. Uh, so you see that price is in a current range right now. So we're still below this downward trend line right over here. It could be a little bit steeper or shallower. Uh, either way, we're still below the downward trend line, which is bearish. We're below that big orange range, which is not a good sign. You want price to be inside of it and hit the bottom and move up to the top. You know, something like this, hit the bottom, move up to the top. But we're not even in the orange range. We're in another range. Uh, so price broke outside of this orange one to the downside. And this one can also do the same. So again, nothing really bullish or really that bearish because price is just trading sideways. Overall, it's bearish, but in the short term, it's basically just neutral. So, I mean, you don't you just have a seven dollar uh, trading range going on right now for the past, um, you know, two three months since December first of last year. It's it just formed that long ago. So it's not doing much. Uh, do I have a measure move target? Well, let's take a look. We have one large leg right here. This with the second leg is targeting the eighty one. But like I said before, uh, we hit the highs of the range and it doesn't look like price wants to do a measure move target. You see that the bulls uh, were not able to defend this trend line and price broke below it. So it looks like the bears could be uh, taking dominance over this market and driving down that price. So overall bearish uh, in the past couple of months, neutral, but you know a lot of times that overall bias will influence that um, nearer term price action and drive it down lower. So that's how I'm looking at Baba. It's not doing much, and a lot of the liquidity in the markets are going into, you know, Bitcoin-related stocks, uh, some select few tech stocks, and obviously Bitcoin itself. So that's where the money is flowing in, and you can clearly clearly see it on the charts. Uh, so a lot of the money is coming out of these Chinese stocks and being rotated into the uh, U.S. equities, just a select few, and also Bitcoin. Uh, and even gold now, gold's even you know making new all-time highs. So again, you have to look at where the money's flowing and where it's flowing out of. It's not flowing into these Chinese stocks. And you know it doesn't matter if you buy a hundred shares or a thousand shares. You're not going to be able to drive up this market. You need the big money to drive up the market and follow the big money. Uh, so here's a look at the weekly chart. And weekly chart shows that we're trading near all-time lows, same price level since 2015, 2016. Uh, so it could be like a dead company. I mean, it's not really doing much. Uh, can you imagine if you know Apple or you know Amazon came back down to their you know eight-year lows, uh, eight-year past price action? That would be insane. So you can see that you know this company is you know the technicals could be different from the fundamentals, obviously, but something's going on behind the scenes that we don't know, and the people who move the market know something. So that's why it hasn't really done anything. Uh, but either way, you know, maybe sometime this year we'll probably get a bottom. Again, I'm just assuming because we are near the all-time lows and we could probably see a reversal take place. Uh, but until then, this is bearish. Price below the trend line, below the $80 level, below the EMA. You, what you want to see is something like this. You want to see a strong momentum to the upside, followed by short bearish momentum, followed by more strong bullish momentum. So you want to see something like that. Uh, to have a chance of a reversal. Until now, until then, we don't really have anything like that. We don't even have the first sign, which is a strong move up. Uh, so overall, this is most likely just going to continue to rotate and roll over towards the downside. So all that for Baba this week, Wednesday, uh, Friday, and most likely I'll give you guys an update next week, Friday. This is V Trades, and thank you for your time.